We need a deal in Washington. I know Treasury Secretary Mnuchin has repeatedly pleaded for more help from Congress to prop up the restaurant and hospitality industries because he knows, he actually knows what's going on in this country. He did it again today. As it relates to the restaurant and broader hospitality industries, we think those industries don't need more debt. What they need is economic relief because they're shut down as a result of COVID. Amen. But for that to happen, the Democrats in the House and the Republicans in the Senate need to cooperate with each other for, uh, less than six weeks before an election. Now, I'm not going to hold my breath. This rally in Darden today says there is no compromise to be had. Again, though, you wouldn't know it by looking at the overall averages because the stock market is mostly insulated from the worst parts of the COVID economy. Unfortunately, without some help from Congress, you better believe most independent restaurants will not be able to hold out. I know mine can't. Sadly, they can't. Bad news for the economy for this whole wholesale decline of all restaurants. But great news for publicly traded companies with scale to thrive in this environment. That's why I think Darden stock is still a buy, even after today's run. That's the takeaway of this piece. How do you put a price earnings multiple in the only chain other than maybe Brinker, parent of Chili's, that has staying power in an industry that's been uniquely destroyed by COVID, the sit-down restaurant industry? All I know is the stock deserves to go higher. And the longer the pandemic goes on, the more attractive it gets. Look, sit-down restaurants are always going to be superfluous. That's the issue. You can cook your own food. I like that General Mills stock yesterday or McCormick. You can get takeout. You can get delivery. They certainly don't impact the stock market, but they absolutely impact your day-to-day life. And if all these smaller operators go under at the same time, they'll impact the broader economy, too. The bottom line, in a world where you can get Olive Garden's five cheese ziti al farno, not the Alfredo, but the al farno, delivered right to your car for $16.99. How's the little guy supposed to compete? Without a second bailout from Washington for this industry, we're headed for a world with just a couple of big restaurant chains and very few individual proprietors. You want variety? Take it up with Congress. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.